Hi, um, my name is Lisa Carey, and let's just get it, say I'll, I'll check the box 45 to 50. <laughs> and, um, I'm from Houston, Texas. I'm a blogger and a social media influencer. A typical day is uh, getting up about 6 o'clock or so and getting everybody out the door. Um, it's first thing in the morning, and honestly, I'm already running late. So today, my face is just going to get like a, a quick wash. Everybody else gets taken care of first. And uh, then, you know, wash my face, brush my teeth, maybe change clothes and yoga pants, sweats. And then about the end of the day, you know, there's the chores and then there's the shower and get ready and become a normal human being when everybody gets home. So it's the end of the day and like I said, it was a really long one. Um, but I'm trying to get to bed early because tomorrow is a new one. One of the challenges is definitely spending a little more time on myself. It'd be nice if I could do something other than a messy bun before I walk out the door. My style is, it's actually very much across the board. So sometimes it's a dress, sometimes it's jeans, you know, whatever happens to be laying on top of the clean clothes basket. <laughs> I think in a way I'd just like to feel more confident and I'd like to feel that when somebody gives me a compliment that it's an honest one and maybe uh, feel a little happier when those, you know, when those things happen. So. I'm Daisy Tay, founder of TheItMom.com, and this is Total Mom Makeover, where we teach moms how to look good in less time. Vow to stand out. Want to learn how to achieve the look in this episode? Visit TotalMomMakeover.com for unlimited access to makeup, hair, and fashion tutorials for just $9 a month. Product's important. You're not going to get styles without products. I'm actually pretty excited. I was a little nervous at first, but I'm liking what I'm hearing, so I'm excited to see what he comes up with. The mother I had today was Lisa. Well, Lisa has compromised hair. It's curly, which uh, tends to be really dry, um, but she had been platinum at one point. So underlying all those pigments and color that she had, um, basically had to lift through that, kind of even out the palette. But we're trying to keep the health of the curl. That was her main concern. Highlights, color got all over a root, which had a bunch of sparkle gray in it, covered that up, then reapplied a deep bloody red all over the whole thing. Well, I think anytime you do something like this, the, your first initial reaction to a new colorist or even a new hairstylist might add to the pandemonium of the whole experience. But um, once you crack and you start talking to them, once they start seeing, they tend to brighten up a lot. See the sparkle in the eyes. I work with Lisa and for her, she wanted um, to really bring out her eyes. So we made sure that our main focus for her was lashes. And she was really concerned with the redness on her face. So with the CC cream, that definitely helped with the look. And she was all about lip gloss too. <laughs> so she was pretty excited about that. Lisa had an awesome pink bag that so we her outfit were was a two-tone gray but we decided to go with the pink from the bag and we gave her a lace overlay on the pink gel to um, incorporate the dark gray in her outfit So we have Lisa Carey in the house. Oh. She looks absolutely amazing. Yes. Glowing, hair all shiny. Soft hair. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think of this whole new look? I really like it. I really like it. Head to toe. 
Nice. There's, there's really not anything that I don't like. So I'm really excited about it. There's some new and some improved and some uh, some of the old that I already liked about myself anyway. So I'm excited. Okay. Yeah. Let's talk about your makeover experience. What did you feel going through it when you were about to go through it? Like share with us a little bit of your experience. Okay. Um, you know, I, I admit that I was probably the most nervous one here, and because um, I'm a little particular about certain things. Yeah, we all know this. Yeah. <laughs> no secret. Yes, um, we're aware. <laughs> I was a little. I was nicer about it, but anyway, I, I was really excited about it. And once I started talking to people and getting a little more comfortable, and I really liked how open everyone was to suggestions and thoughts, and yet. Um, some of it reinforced what I already thought, and some of it made me take a little step out and try some new things. Awesome. So, so you mentioned that you were nervous, but now that you've been through this whole transformation, what are your thoughts? Um, well, several of them. Good <laughs> I'm I'm excited to take it all home. I'm excited to um, try some of the things that I've learned, and awesome. it's mostly excitement. I am also pretty. I'm, I'm more confident now. I think, I, I, think I, I knew more than I thought I knew. Oh, yeah. So hearing it from other people that, you know, it's, that's making me feel so much better that I could just go ahead and do what I already knew to do that's instead right. of hesitating. So I like that. So we talk about the style piece, but what about the impact on your life? You know, how do you think the impact of this transformation will be for your life going forward? I think there's going to be several impacts. Um, one of them was I really loved how encouraging that all the women were to each other. Mm -hmm. And, you know, not just complimentary, but encouraging and all trying to work together as a team, whether it was the stylist or the makeup artist or the other influencer moms or you guys. So yeah. um, that's something that doesn't always happen in the world of women. Yeah. So right. I think that's, that. yes, I think that's an impact that I'll definitely be taking back with me. Another one will be, um, it's going to be kind of nice to be able to look at my husband and when he says, oh, you look nice or that's beautiful and be a little more accepting of his compliments instead of, you know, kind of not so nice. <laughs> <laughs> Why, Tom? Stop it. You're lying. Shut up. <laughs> and um, lastly, just that um, I can sort of share all of this with my daughters and let them know mm. that, you know, it's okay for mom to look good mm -hmm. and it's okay to, to kind of do some of these things and take some risk. And even though you're nervous or scared, to go ahead and give it a try. So I think those are my main impacts. Wow, that's amazing. So speaking of your daughters and your husband, how do you think they're going to feel about this whole new look? I think my husband's going to love it. But he's always been encouraging with uh, letting me try, you know, different things. He's always said, sure, try it. Let's see what happens. So he's been there through the purple and the blue and the platinum and the <laughs> unicorn. And, um, you know, so I think he's really going to like it. Um, I think the girls are going to love the color. Awesome. Yeah. And it's a beautiful color. It brings out your eyes. It's so pretty. So that's what I'm really excited about is I, I think that they're going to like those things. A new you, and you deserve it. Yay! Yay.